guys, what's up? So this is Dong Jun speaking here. And in this uh, class, uh, we're going to try uh, this uh, simple form paintings. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, uh, even this is a very simple form, but this is very important. You understand how to uh, those lighting relationship, those values, colors going on here. Okay. And this is also uh, in the reality. Okay. Most of the 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 geometry you can represent with this kind of uh, simple forms, okay? So yeah, <clears throat> first uh, we're going, I'm going to pick this black color, okay? We draw out this kind of uh, locations of this uh, uh, geometries. Uh, first, maybe I just quickly draw a box, right? And in this part, this line is slightly longer than this back because of this perspectives. Okay, slightly we got some perspective here. So I'm going to draw in this kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, we can using some of tools here, but uh, in this uh, class we try to uh, draw in by hands. Okay, because this is a kind of study uh, part. This is the important. Uh, you can also draw with your purely hand. Okay. Don't need to clean those lines first right now, just uh, quickly uh, sketch. Eh? Okay, something like that. So after that, we're going to find out the other locations. Okay, for example, this one here, uh, what we can do is that uh, in your brain, you can imagine some lines, okay? From this point, you can imagine a line which is a uh, parallel with here, with this boundary here. Uh, also this point, your lowest point, you can also draw a uh, imagine our boundaries, okay, and then imagine this line and this line. How is the distance here? Okay, this maybe uh just uh, when I go into a look briefly, it's going to be like a one over five of this total length. Okay, so we're going to be like a uh, around the one over five around with this part here. Okay, and from this point, we can draw a straight straight lines to represent this uh, reference lines. Okay, this part. So we, we find this lowest point position here, okay? And for here also, you can uh, find all this uh, highest position, which is this part here, okay? And this lines, this line here, okay? With this line here, this point, okay? With this point here. So you can also imagine this length, how is the length here according here, okay? So this length here, Probably going to be um, one over four of this total length, okay, around here. <coughs> so from this point, it's a reference line, and here also, we go around here, the, the reference line. Okay, so vertically also, you can, uh, from here, you can imagine vertical lines from this point or this point, okay. Uh, imagine a line, how is distance to this line here right now? So always compare <coughs> with the surrounding, <coughs> sorry. You can also compare with this this line, okay, back of this line. So uh, you see, when I draw in reference, it's basically this point is like a one or half of this total length here, okay. So what we're going to do is just the uh, reference line here, around here, okay. So this point is around the located there, okay? The highest of this part, you can also uh, use it the same way, going to uh, horizontalize around the here, okay? Around the here. Okay, so using this ways, uh, you can draw, find out the many reference in your brain. You don't have to draw all these lines, but uh, yeah, you, you should imagine, okay, how is the lines going on here, okay? Always using your eyes, always compare with each other there. Okay, I draw a horizontal line here. <coughs> uh, this part also we still uh, uh, have some perspective. This is this length here slightly shorter than this length. Okay, where we hit here. Okay, so using this way. We also can uh, find out this uh, core shape here, okay? So also we can uh, decide the first, uh, this vertical lines from top to down, okay? 
and it's probably like a compare this distance here and also distance here okay it's probably like a yeah kind of uh, 2 over 3 maybe there okay and this is uh, around here and the, the top part here also you can draw reference line okay and also you can draw for everything from here okay it's probably around this area here okay you can cut there and this lowest point is almost the same with this point okay so you can using this line you cut here and this widest part of this bottom is probably around be similar this part but a little bit in more so it's going to be like this part okay another one is uh, it's just uh, making symmetry there okay from here we draw our cone shapes Okay, so let's see uh, the balls here. Yeah, of course, in the digital painting, uh, you can always crop this, okay? And uh, moving around somewhere. Also, you can control T, uh, changing the size as well. Uh, but this year, we try to uh, just uh, thinking like a traditional way, okay? Just uh, practice your know, observation, those kind of ability, right? Uh, those kind of uh, radius here, uh, this dimension here is around be like this part, okay? Slightly shorter, okay. Okay, here. And the lowest point around be like this part, a little bit lower to the center, around be here. And there should be squares, okay. Maybe we move down a little bit. And from here, I can cut here, okay, and continue to making at the ball shapes. Of course, we have this ball tool here as well. Okay, so yeah, this is a. Uh, normally, we going to uh, we studied uh, this kind of simple forms using traditional way like uh, pen and pencils. Okay, and we sketching there and there, almost like uh, even this part we can uh, using different lightings, different colors also of the lighting as well. So it's you can even study like two months. Okay, <clears throat> but here in digitally, it's going to be uh, happen very fast. You see, it can erase always. And also, you can changing the shapes always. Okay, so making a curve, maybe slightly. We can uh, this part. We just using this tool. Make a little bit higher. Okay, something like that. Okay, so here uh, it's not necessary you to exactly like this shapes here, but uh, since we are practicing, okay, you can try to uh, copy exactly that like that, one, right? Okay, so this is the reference. I right? have a check here. Okay, so if no problem, we can uh, straight away some uh, shadows right now. So like this balls here, lighting, this is, we got the main lighting is coming from here, okay. So you can uh, turn a bit this light this kind of curve shapes here. And using this kind of uh, lines, indicate a little bit the shadow area. Okay, and we got the shadow on the bottom to drop on the top surface of this, uh, uh, what is called this box, okay. This box slightly green a lower a bit. Okay, around me here, and this part you can also indicate using these lines. 
you get shadows and this half is going to be how shadows number of light is coming from here okay and this shape also uh, you see this is the most lighter part and we got the shadow area on the surface okay and we got a shadow drop on this box Okay, uh, shadows of this box here, and we also got shadows of this cones, and this is the shadow of this ball shape. Okay, we can also uh, create a new layer, and also simply uh, sketch a little bit the background here, which is these tables. and close on the table okay and uh, using this way to uh, study is also uh, the best way uh, you study all those values and also the the lighting how it's effect on these different forms okay. if you are very familiar with this kind of forms here if you go into very complicated geometry then it's quite uh, similar okay this is a uh, there is same knowledge there okay so after that we're going to uh, uh i'm going to create a new folder i put in inside and let's just duplicate this one and i create a new layer on the bottoms here okay and we now we, we tend to create a uh, the values behind of this wall okay before that uh, uh, we make it a little bit simple way okay so which is that I will turn this uh, uh, for reference as a uh, black and white okay so I can turn on this one we turn on situations so that we uh, know much better of this values okay here you see without the value yeah you can directly painting with the colors but it's going to be like if we uh, thinking about different color like this area or this area is the blue color here orange color it's going to be difficult to uh, understand which value is darker okay so with this kind of black one you can see immediately what is going on okay so yeah so maybe uh, first uh, uh, 50 percentage we can using this uh, black and white okay so I'm using some kind of this uh, full opacity brush can okay? make a create the silhouette okay behind of this line again uh, you can also uh, using this eraser okay it brings out these boundaries so you see as uh, right now it's quite different with this uh, using traditional pencil okay using pencils uh, we're using those kind of lines to work out these values but in the here we're just painting this kind of uh, uh, values okay so this is a big difference it's just depending on the traditional painting and this box here as well So here we are making all the uh, forms here as a uh, one layer and the background is one layer. If you're not confident, you can also separate this all this uh, uh, this simple forms with different layers. Uh, so we can using this uh, lasso tool, this polygon shape, which is uh, making you very straight the boundaries. Okay, but the here. Uh, Actually, I try to encourage you uh, to work it on by your hands as well right? to also practice. Okay.
So it's like a really like this uh, you learn the driving. Okay. It's uh, if you only reading the books also uh, or you listen to the instructor, it's not enough, right? You have to practice a lot by yourself so that you can have the feels, okay? The feels of this connecting your brain, your hand, and also what you're thinking. Okay, and the background, let me turn it a bit the values there as well. If we pick here, slightly we can turn a bit dark. Beautiful. Okay, make a lighting there. So after we working all these forms, uh, it's time to work on this lighting right now. Okay, so uh, you can also create a new layer. Oh, you can using this uh, layer here. Uh, you can also click this dot brush. Okay, since we are using black and white, so it's quite safe to use a dot brush as well. So you can uh, quickly give a big soft lighting on this uh, balls. Right. Okay, and then another way is that you can create a new layer. I select this area, and you can also using this white color. And I'm going to using this salt brush. Okay, like this part, conscious. You can also and this part you can erase. So you can turn down uh, this uh, fills down. Oh, okay. So you can also using this salt overlay. Okay, it doesn't matter since uh, we are using black and white right now. And also here, you, you can you see this dark, this kind of black cross there. You can also create a new layer. Uh, you can also uh, pick this color, make a bit of darker values. Uh, straight down, okay. And you can use an eraser, just erase a little bit. And this balls here as well, it's going to be have dark cross here, right? But this one, uh, just make it first, okay? Later we're going to fix all these things with a, a brush. Okay, go back to this normal brush. First, uh, don't think some of uh, complicated lighting, they're just uh, thinking uh, we're going to make a big value in the shadow area here. Okay, and this definitely too dark. I just crop this part out, separate the layer. Now you can turn the fill down. Okay, and also the lighting part actually we have to lighten as well. So I'll go back to this, uh, maybe overlay this layer and using white colors, making the surface, okay, a bit more bright, except the shadow areas. Uh, this top surface here. Okay, shadow part we can make it a bit more dark. On this ball here as well, we need to make it more bright a little bit. So we are using this big brush, okay. Set your brush short key, okay. And you can work here. When you're painting, you can directly also changing your brush size as well. And this part also, we got the top surface is very bright. We are just, uh, <coughs> where is all this layer? Okay, I'm going to create using normal layer to pan over here. This is the layer. Okay, this part uh, quite okay, this values. And this bottom here, we can make it a bit even more dark, okay. And this front surface, we can make a bit more bright slightly. Okay. 
slightly give us some more light in here this part may be a bit too dark okay go back this uh, back of this layer we create another layer uh, now we're going to drop some uh, shadows yeah after that turn a few down a bit All right, zoom out, have a look, and also we can uh, create a new layer back of this background. For this uh, top, this closing part, okay, we can make a bit more dark, make it a bit dark. Give a value here as well. Okay, so seems looks okay. So I duplicate this layers. So after that, we're going to fill a little bit more of uh, interesting uh, values. Okay, what is the lighting happen here? So before that, I turn this my line as a multiply and turn fill down. Okay, and after that, I select this part, and you can Control Shift I to let this outside dirty line. Okay. This reference line. Continue, I go back. You can even later hide this one, but before right now we just open it first. I can clean a little bit this forms. Okay, we try to uh, using eraser to Erase and brush, get okay, clear this form. Note this tool here. Okay. For me, I just prefer using uh, not using this tool, okay? Because for me, uh, if you're using the tool, it's becoming too straight, okay? It's becoming a bit of fake feelings. Okay, so in here it's important to note that this can this this should be similar size. Okay, this far. Okay, so after that, uh, we're going to uh, figure out this uh, more lightings. So first, uh, like uh, this, we will look at this balls here, right? First, maybe I just zoom in a little bit. Okay, for the boss here, we have main lighting coming from here, basically lighting this area, and the half here is going to be dark. Okay, and we got another lighting here. You see, this is because the lighting is going to hit this top surface here, and going to have reflect. Okay, so I just indicated a little bit here. So we got light main lighting coming from here, and we got the reflect. Okay. Secondary lighting or bounce lighting. Secondary lighting. Okay, and the, there is maybe another uh, weak lighting. If I turn off this color, you feel feel that the blue color is here. Okay, maybe this is another blue uh, sky lighting it's coming from windows. Maybe a little far away there. Okay, it turned out to be this. Uh, oh, it's going to be another uh, another side we got window and the, this blue lighting is going to be hit this. Uh, walls and going to be reflect to here. Okay, so turn out to be this part is a bit more bluish tones. Yeah. But here maybe it's not so obvious when they turn into black and white. Okay. Sky lighting. Okay. okay. So this is really uh basic uh, lightings for this boss. So again we can uh, 
I get this part. Let me turn off this uh, lines right now. Get this part to make it a bit more ball shapes. Okay, so uh, using a uh, purely brush, it's may not so easy to make a very smooth film here. Okay, but let me try it. Right? Under this boundaries here, you can using some kind of very dark colors to work on on those shadows. Okay, because those gap there between this ball and the box is very small. Okay, so it's making this uh, bottom there. Uh, the lighting is really difficult to uh, reflect on. Like we got the ball here, the box here. Okay, the lighting going to be hit, go into it there, or it's going to be difficult to hit there as well. And also when it's going to reflect to your eye, also it's going to be very difficult. Okay, so it's making these boundaries extremely uh, dark. Okay, so you can using these dark colors to pop out this boundary of these balls. Okay, and the this box here also, uh, if you look carefully, because you see it's going to be close to this corner, it's becoming dark. Okay, this is because the surface of this part is going to be reflect differently. Okay, so when I turn the, you see this kind of bottom here, warm color, maybe reflect to this this part surface, uh, making this part a little bit more warm. Okay, and when we look in this itself only. Those part is going to have the more reflection feelings because of the angles, okay, to your eyes. So it means uh, when it's close to this point, it's going to become more dark. Right? And we also have another lighting here to slightly light on this area as well. So here, I turn on back this one, so we can uh, turn this corners a bit more darks. Right? Okay. So right now you don't know how to uh, work in great details, just working on this uh, big relationship first. And also this surface here also, you see this part. This is also because we got this big lighting ref reflect to here and to here, okay? So it's going to be how this lighting there is. Uh, and here also you can use the shadows, again okay, this part, to make this boundary pop out. And this part also going to be reflect to this surface, so that this surface is not that black. Okay, so this cone is uh, maybe a bit simpler. We can have the, another lighting to here to reflect on another bonder here. So it's like push your uh, dark hole inside of this part okay so we can make it a bit more dark slightly okay numbers if you push too hard like this way okay. so uh since we are working on black and white okay you can slightly using your brush so it doesn't matter okay but the when we apply color uh, i encourage to try to we try to push a little bit harder okay because this is a uh, if we uh, using lighten this brush you can also turn this uh, positive down 
but with the colors, it's very difficult because we it's very dangerous because uh, it's been uh, making the color uh, we see overlay different layers. It's going to be becoming dirty. Okay, all the colors. Okay, so and also uh, the surface here, okay, it's uh, quite simple, but uh, you can still slightly a little bit darken on top, yeah, because we got the reflector to this bottom here, bottom area. Okay, so yeah, this is a, uh, the big relationship here. So with this kind of knowledge, uh, I will speed up a little bit, okay, to, to making all those details a little bit, right? So I see you a bit later.
Okay, so after we uh, give some simple details value, uh, let's make in color. Okay, so you can proceed a little bit like 50% down of these values and you can apply color. Okay, so first I'm going to select this area. I'm going to click here. Uh, before that, we yeah, just uh, copy this folder to the backup. Okay, All right, I select this area. Going to click here on the color balance. First, though, we give an overall, which is this kind of warm colors. Okay, so I'm going to turn yellow a little bit, make a bit more red, okay, maybe a bit of green colors. Okay, okay, around with this colors. So, after that, some of those back here, you see, if you click here, it's going to be less citrus, almost gray colors. Okay. This is because this warm lighting cannot directly hit the, those areas, okay? And some of here, because of this sky lighting, have a blue colors. You see, it's a blue color, okay? So first, we may go into click and uh, turn this up. Just pan over on those kind of uh, shadow areas first. Basically, in the shadows and also uh, those uh, dark side, this part. Okay, so we're going to make it turn this one colors, okay, and turn situation down a little bit, okay. So this is the contrast is too enough. So, in this case, maybe we can duplicate this layer. One layer we can go to uh, maybe our. Um, Multiply or soft light. Try soft light. Now let's try uh, just to in increase this contrast of this part values. Okay, so sometimes it happen you know, apply color, it's going to be different. Okay, this is because the base value is maybe not too correct. You can turn up a bit contrast. Okay. Something like that turned out a bit brightening and stuff. Okay, so yeah. So after that, we we put some uh, right now put some blue colors. Okay, using the soft brush, and I will click a little bit of blue color here. Okay, around the here, uh, just select this area first. Just a bit here, a little bit shadows. All right, a bit this corners here. So after that, we go to uh, maybe color. Okay, so this is too much saturated right now. Just a bit more. Maybe a bit here. Okay, after that, we go into turn this field down. So that we don't have to make this blue color too obvious. You can rub it here if it's fine enough. Okay, and also this closer, also we can give some colors, I create a new layer. And we can using this kind of orange color. And I will paint over on this part. And we get the color, okay. Okay, looks okay. Okay, and for the shadow part, we can turn a bit more reddish a little bit. Okay, after that, this kind of warm lighting also reflect on this uh, form series as well. So I create another layer. And we're using this kind of orange color here, just pick here and quickly give a shot on this bottom area. Some of here. Okay, after that, we make oh, so maybe some bottom here. Let me go to our color and turn the field down slightly, okay, somehow slightly here.
Okay, so after we apply color, so the next step is we are going to pick the color and directly paint it over, going to more details, right? 